Okay, so let's move on to this week's mystery sale. Hey, Mish, how are you? This kind of thing have you had a go in recent weeks? I'm now uh, reticent to, to go and, and big myself up too much. I get it every week. <laughs> yeah, every single week. Do you know, everybody that does it from home tells me the same. Oh, didn't they? But I got that one, but I don't know how Paddy never off. got that one. I don't know how James never got that one. <laughs> um, but you're in the hot seat now, so we'll see how you fare. As it stands, it's currently five each between myself and the panel, and... I'm looking to head into this new year with a healthy lead, so no pressure at all, Hamish. Uh, before we get started, though, here's a quick reminder of last week's mystery sale. So, clue number one, I won the Scottish Championship in the 2016-17 season. Clue number two, I've played against Argentina and France at the World Cup. And clue number three, I've sorry, including Celtic, I've played for six Scottish clubs. Did you get that one last week? No, I did have, I think. I've not seen it. Oh, I First see. time I've heard it. Paddy, where were you in that? I can't remember. I, did, I got it. After the show, though. Ah, well, I wasn't here, was I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the answer, of course, was Effie Ambrose, one of the nicest guys on the planet, by the way, a real you know, popular guy. And he's a player who had a mistake in his locker, don't get me wrong, but a very honest player and one who was pretty popular overall with the Celtic support. We'll see him back at Celtic Park, of course, on the 21st of January when he arrives with Morton in the Scottish Cup. Paddy, were you a fan of Effie when he was here? I thought he was he was very good in his, uh, his first season. I just think a guy that needed a lot of confidence placed in him and... Uh, when you forget your passport going to the airport to go and play Juventus, then you know there's not you, there's not much a way back after yeah. that. So I just kind of felt for that point it was pretty difficult for him. I wish he'd forgot the passport to get back for the home leg against Juventus. He <laughs> oh had an God. absolute mare that Aye, night. He did. But I believe he was only just off the back of a, an African Nations final. Yeah, Maybe he should not two never days. been put in that position. Never no. um, what about yourself, Hamish? Have you got a, an F. Ambrose style backflip in your locker somewhere? Absolutely not. No. Uh, <laughs> gymnastics was never my strong point. Uh, he played his debut in centre mid. Do you know? Mm-hmm. I wanted to see Wraith It was a cup tie You might be right But yeah, yeah. Centre mid And uh, Remember the day He skinned half the Aberdeen team And ballooned over the bar That would have been One of the greatest goals ever uh, He's An enigmatic player <laughs> To say the least But popular guy So yep He was the answer To last week's mystery cell Hamish Paddy Are you ready for this week's Go for it Okay Clue number one If you get it from this I will be absolutely blown away (laughs) Clue number one But I need to make it harder He played for Celtic (laughs) Clue number one I have two caps But no goals for my country Anybody springing to mind Hamish? No I'll need to give you more than that Clue number two I've been managed by Stephen Presley Neil Lennon And Jack Ross Anthony Stokes? It's not Anthony Stokes Anything, Paddy? No, nothing yet. Clue number three, and I suppose you could get it through a a process of deduction with this one, but I was in the Celtic squad when we beat Barcelona in November 2012. Adam Matthews? No. So what I'll do, I'll let you guys have a think about it at the moment, and while the lads are having a think, I just want to let listeners know of a very special prize that could be making its way to you in the next week or so. As most listeners will know, we recorded an exclusive interview with Celtic legend Martin O'Neill a couple of weeks ago, and that's available now over at the Celtic Exchange Plus. During his visit to the studio, Martin was kind enough to sign some copies of his new book for us, and this week we are giving one of those copies away to one lucky listener. All you have to do to be with a chance of winning the book is to visit our brand new website at thecelticexchange.com and to sign up on the homepage for our weekly e-newsletter between now and Friday at 12 noon. You'll see exactly where to do this just as you scroll down the homepage. We'll then pick a winner at random and we'll get that signed copy sent to you next week. The new website provides access to all of our podcasts, blogs, videos and much more. So head to thecelticexchange.com now to give yourself a chance of winning that very special prize. Anything, Paddy? Have I done it? Have you got it? Aye. Go for it. I've I've said Adam Matthews. No, 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 not not Adam Matthews. (laughs) You never said no, to be fair. Sorry, (laughs) okay. So no, you've not done it. Not Adam Matthews. Anyone jumping out you from that team? I've got one, I don't think it's right. Just throw it out there. Is the correct answer. Well done. So Dave will beep that, but that's a a brilliant shout. So Hamish, you're one for one. Can't do any better than that. Uh, Paddy, unlucky. You're bealing. (laughs) <laughs> I, I, I'm, try to, I'm trying to keep a lid on it because Hamish is a special guest but, um, but no well done and anyone else at home if you think you know the answer to this week's Mystery Cell remember to tweet us at Celt Exchange using hashtag Mystery Cell the scoreline is now 5 to me and 6 to the panel devastating <laughs>